a labour of love. Robert Fuller's photographed wildlife all over the world, but it's the barn owl which holds a special place in his heart. Once captured on film, he then recreates their beauty on canvas. Each wildlife portrait is unique, painted at his studio in Thixendale in the Yorkshire Wolds. I've been very lucky, I've travelled all around the world photographing and painting wildlife, and, uh, but I always get excited when I see barn owls out hunting. I always get excited when I go to a nest box and they're in there, so it's, it's sort of a passion, you know, the, the magic things. As well as painting barn owls, Robert also plays a big part in conserving them. For years he's been putting up nest boxes and numbers thrived, but the harsh winter of 2010 had devastating consequences. Up to six feet drifts up here and two feet of snow on the ground, they simply can't get to their prey. And there's a prolonged spell of bad weather, which is one thing barn owls can't cope with because they cannot catch the prey. And uh, after the weather eased a bit, I managed to get to nest boxes and uh, they were just dead in the nest boxes or in the farm buildings. In one week, Robert found 30 dead barn owls. A bitter blow for the man who'd nurtured and painted these beautiful birds of prey. But now, almost three years later, thanks to Robert feeding the remaining owls during the long winters, the population is rising again. This is an active box. Um, she's probably in there on, on eggs or small chicks at the moment, but it's uh, middle of the day, so we don't look in the barn owl box. Uh, straight away, finding things here like a shrew skull. This is regurgitated out of its mouth. This is uh, products that they can't digest. The late spring has delayed the breeding season this year, and Robert's still waiting for some eggs to hatch. It's always a proud moment for him. He's given these creatures a helping hand, in the hope they may return the favour by proudly posing for a portrait one day. Michelle Lyons, BBC Look North, Fixendale.